This video will demonstrate how to collect surface samples in order to test for hazardous drug residues in clinical environments using the Chemo Alert Kit. In the kit, you should find supplies to collect up to 10 samples, including sampling instructions, a styrofoam cooler containing 10 glass vials with barcodes, one bottle of wetting agent, 10 templates, each at 100 square centimeters, 10 swabs, 10 pairs of gloves, chain of custody forms, a prepaid return label, an ice pack, which must be frozen before sampling, and a disposal bag. As an optional item, a set of wire cutters can be useful. To avoid cross-contamination, start by changing or putting on a new pair of gloves before collecting each sample. Place a new template on the sampling surface. Dip the head of a new swab into the wetting agent and tap off any excess liquid. Press the swab head against the sampling surface with moderate pressure for full surface contact. Now, move the swab from left to right across the template and standardize the procedure by covering the entire area in about 10 strokes. Once the entire area is wiped, turn the swab head over and repeat from top to bottom for another 10 strokes across the entire area. Make sure to never dip a used swab back into the wetting agent bottle. With the second pass complete, place the swab head into a new glass vial, snap the head off by hand at the notch mark on the handle, or snip it off using a wire cutter, and then cap the vial securely. If you are collecting another sample, change your gloves and repeat the procedure using a new vial, swab, and template. When finished, use the large sealable plastic bag to dispose of the used swab handles, templates, and gloves. Dispose of the bag contents properly for the drug residues that may have been captured. To complete the process, it is required that you complete the laboratory request or chain of custody form and record the barcode number and analysis needed for each sample. Place the vials back into their holders inside the cooler to secure them. Enclose the chain of custody in a frozen ice pack. Finally, pack the cooler into the original box, seal with tape, and attach the prepaid return label to ship the samples to the lab. Here are a few key things to remember. Retain all original packaging. Refreeze the ice pack and ship the frozen pack back with the samples. Return the completed chain of custody form with your samples and never return used items such as gloves and templates with your samples.